Hi guys, I hope you're all alright. So today I wanted to do a tiny bit of baking and I thought of doing some like spiced Christmas cupcakes because it's Christmas time, we need ginger and cinnamon and nutmeg and everything in our lives right now. So I thought I would put it all together in some cupcakes. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also I thought I'd put this little Santa jumper thing on. It's really cute. It's not even mine, it used to be my brother's but yeah it's really cute so I decided to put this on because it makes me look more festive so anyway I'm gonna begin with the cupcakes you'll firstly need 170 grams of soft butter and you're gonna want to pop that into the bowl Ooh. mine wasn't that soft so I had to soften it up in the microwave on low for literally like 20 seconds and then it got perfectly soft and then you're also going to want to add in 250 grams of caster sugar to the butter. So now using an electric hand whisk, now using the electric hand whisk, I'm going to whisk together the butter and the sugar. So now the butter, I don't even know if you can see that because of how bright it is in here, but now all the butter and sugar is combined, I'm just going to leave that to the side and then we're going to like mix together the dry ingredients. So for the dry ingredients, you're going to need 240 grams of self-raising flour and you're going to want to add that to a separate bowl just for now. It is probably better to sift all of this first, to sift it. It is probably better to sieve this all first, but our sieve has a hole in it, so it isn't much of a sieve and yeah, so just going to go with it and hope it turns out well, which it should do because I don't know, it just should. Now you want to add the spice, so you're going to need one and a half teaspoons of ground ginger and cinnamon. It has to be ground because that way you're not going to end up with clumps and it's going to be really fine. I also added half a teaspoon of nutmeg just because I think that's a really Christmassy thing so I just thought I'd throw it in there because I don't have the cloves which you need for this but I just added the nutmeg instead and hope it turns out okay and then you're also going to need half a teaspoon of salt and you're going to want to add that to your flour it does smell so spicy but it smells so good now you're going to want to use a little whisk and just mix together the flour and the spices and then you're going to want to add this to your bowl of butter and sugar. It's probably better to do that like a little bit at a time but I just dumped it all in there in one go so oh well. And you're also going to want to add four free range eggs to the mixture. So now you've added the dry ingredients and the eggs you're going to want to whisk it together. <laughs> Once you're happy with how that looks, you're going to need three tablespoons of milk mixed with one tablespoon of golden syrup. So I'm going to do that now because, oh, I love golden syrup. It is so amazing. So, oh, so I'm going to add that to my milk and then I'm going to use my little baby whisk and whisk it. I'm not going to whisk it. I'm going to whisk it together. So now the syrup's in with the milk, I'm just going to whisk it together with this cute little baby whisk so you're gonna want to whisk together the golden syrup and the, but and the butter and the milk so it creates a nice yellowy colour it kind of looks like eggnog but anyway mix that together and then when you're happy with how it looks you're gonna want to pour that into your cake mix and then you're gonna want to whisk it all together <laughs> Make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl so everything is mixed together properly and then give it one last blast with the whisk and then once you are satisfied with how your mixture looks you can distribute it evenly between your cupcake cases. So now that I've added the mixture to the cases we're going to pop it in the oven for about... how long was it in the oven for? Now you've put the mixture into the cupcake cases, you're going to want to put them in the oven on 170 degrees Celsius for about 22 minutes or until the pricker thing comes out clean.
so it's a tiny bit later on now hence why the lighting is a bit different so the cupcakes are done and they look so so yummy and they smell so good and I can't wait to eat them but before we eat them we're gonna ice them so I bought this cream cheese style icing and it's like the squirty kind of icing not the rolly type so we're going to ice them with this I'm too lazy to make my own icing mainly because we have no butter left so this was the next best option and then I'm going to decorate them with some little trees I've made if they've worked and then some candy canes and some sprinkles so let's start decorating them So that's the cupcakes finished and that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it and think they look super cool or whatever, give the video a thumbs up and also press that subscribe button wherever it is because it will really help me out and I will see you very soon with another Christmas video. Bye!